like a tablet capsule is also very popular solid oral dosage form because of its ease of consumption the question is how one can understand whether the capsule cell used is of what size what is the fill volume of the capsule and uh, what is going to be the occupancy inside the capsule cell dependent on to maybe the bulk density of my blend hi my name is bhaskar napte i am the founder of pharma growth hub and as a part of this video we will try to understand the the history behind the capsule cell invention and uh, we'll also talk about what is the standard capsule uh, cell available in the market so let us begin our discussion with understanding why the capsule cell and what are the different uh, sizes of the capsule cell and you can see on the screen there are almost uh, 12 different sizes of the capsule cell available and i got this information from the capsule cell right so size 000 means triple zero then size 00 elongated size 00 size 0 elongated size 0 size 1 elongated and there are many more until size 5 so capsules are a popular dosage form in the pharmaceutical industry due to their ease of swallowing and the ability to mask the taste and the smell of the medication ease of swallowing is one important aspect but the another important aspect it can mask the taste and smell of the medication because your medication is going to be encapsulated within the cell so it because of that there is no smell there is no bitter taste in case if it is so this is very important application of the capsule so who has uh, invented the capsule cell a little history about it the capsule cells invention the first capsules were made from gelatin and were developed by a french a pharmacist that is a uh, francois achel bernard moths okay so i'm so sorry for the pronunciation but it happens in the 1833 in the 19th century and the first capsule cell was made out of the gelatin but nowadays there are capsule cells available uh, from the hpmc also moths aim to make the administration of medicines more palatable and easier to swallow that is the purpose of making the capsule cell the concept was further refined by an american pharmacist james uh, murdock who patented the two piece telescopic capsules in the 1847 so this is a little history about the invention of the capsule cell so what are the different sizes of the capsule cells available so capsule sizes are numbered and the size of the capsule is inversely related to the number means what larger the number the smaller is the capsule size or smaller is the number greater will be the capsule size for example a size of 000 or 000 is larger than just the 0 and a size 5 because 0 and 5 are going to be smaller than 000 the standardization of capsule sizes came much later with the pharmaceutical industry recognizing the need for uniformity in capsule volumes for accurate dosing now this is very important point the standardization is very important so how can i come i am going to give the requirement to a capsule manufacturer and if the every capsule manufacturer start manufacturing a capsule of uh, the size and shape according to his own standard protocol there could be a very huge range of dimensions in the market and it is very important that once you standardize the capsule cell size it becomes very easy for anyone to get the same size of the capsule cell manufactured across different capsule manufacturing companies so this is the biggest advantage of uh, standardizing the size of the capsule cell the range of sizes made it possible to provide medications in various doses suitable for different age groups and therapeutic needs smaller capsule size is suitable for a pediatric a product and the the bigger one could be suitable for the adults so here is the brief overview of the standard capsule size the size triple zero is the largest commonly used typically for high dose medications if you want to have medications of maybe over a 1 gram or so 
then the bigger size that is triple zero size can be used size 0 to 2 is commonly used for adult dosage forms and size 3 to 5 is commonly used for pediatric dosage forms and here is the very important information about the dimension of the capsule cell in a given table and i got this information from the capsule gel so what is the information covered over here the weight of the capsule the second point is the capacity of the capsule the third one is length of the capsule parts body and cap because it's always made up of two fourth one is external diameter and the fifth one is the overall closed length so here are the 12 important uh, capsule size triple zero 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 elongated then comes the zero then zero elongated here is zero one elongated one two elongated two three four and five so please go through this table you can pause the video and go through this table to understand what is the capacity of the each and every capsule size again understand that the powder density is very important point to realize how much of the product blend can get accommodated inside the capsule cell for example triple zero if the size of the capsule cell and this can probably let me tell you how much it can put so this triple zero capsule can hold 822 mg of the product blend with the 0.6 gram per ml of the bulk density if the bulk density increases to 1.2 grams per ml the same capsule cell can actually hold 1644 milligram of the product blend so it's also very important to realize the bulk density plays a very crucial role in accommodating the product inside the capsule cell otherwise all other information can be understood and uh, you can certainly take benefit of uh, this information on understanding and identifying which capsule cell is suitable for your product so thank you so much for watching this video and let me know your comment in the description below bye bye